And this is the scene here in West Yorkshire. Our action today coming to you from Kirklee Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Huddersfield Town, and they take on Stoke City. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. So the initial 11 for Huddersfield Town. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. how Stoke City will line up for this game. Well, in this shape, unless their wing-backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. And they kick off here. Joe Allen and the attack looks promising but nothing comes of it well, can they be creative from here far from a good pass Romain Sawyers Jacob Brown. Well read to ease the pressure. Danny Ward. Excellent ball over the top. Oh, could be a chance. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Playing it in. Past him. Well, another corner hot on the heels of the last one. And now the delivery. Just over the crossbar with that effort. Sawyers. But attacking possibilities. Real chance. Oh, disappointing, just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. Can he find the net? Body in the way, must be. And denied by the keeper, impressive. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Are well, they going to forge ahead? That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Corner kick played in. And the referee wasn't going to let that go. This to open the scoring here. A goal! Accurate from the spot. Well, as you can see from the replay, the keeper tries to read the penalty, but he's sent the wrong way, and it ends up looking a very easy finish. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Mario Vrancic.
Brown. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Well, no surprise to see him go for goal, but a routine save in the end. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had much less of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Danny Ward. Hogg. And they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. And the cross is very much on. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Defenders need to cover. Stephen Fletcher he takes aim and it's a goal level again what a match this is turning out to be well here it is again and it's all about the pace in transition they're so quick to get out from the back and then the shot is emphatic he strikes it with such power the keeper has no time to react what a good finish So back underway, one goal apiece here. That is that for the... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Lewis O'Brien... Tom Lees. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player... Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this. Oh, excellent diving stop. Here it is now, a substitution. Who can he pick out? Mopping up defensively. Could be threatening. Oh, great defending. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Went in strongly, decisively. Jonathan Hogg. Danny Ward. It's with Hogg. Fluency of movement. And he's made headway. Oh, so near. Off the post. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. continues his run cross towards that far post and it's gone in 
just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Underway again with the score at 3-1. 20 minutes remaining. Klukas. Chester has it. Josh Diamond. On the ball, Sawyers. Is this the moment? In it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Jonathan Hogg. O'Brien. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Lewis O'Brien. Firing it in. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And there's the delivery. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. in the centre has someone to play it to can he find the angle he had to score and he does well let's take another look yeah he won't get an easier finish than that the defending was all over the place though so the current scoreline 4-2 Pearson. It's with Hogg. A danger here as he runs at them. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. And that is going to be that. Well, 